In the opening credits of this movie, God is listed as an executive producer. Right, like an EP would ever only ask for 10%. I'm in love with a church girl is a real life story adapted for the screen as the brainchild of Israel Houghton in Gally Molina. It stars Jeff Atkins, who you may know better as Ja Rule, as a bad boy made good by finding Jesus through finding the girl of his dreams, which echoes Molina's trials and conversion of his own. The movie is also said to star actors Stephen Baldwin, Michael Madsen, and Vincent Pastore, as well as Christian artists T-Bone and Toby Mac. But really, the only one of those that is even on the screen for more than a cameo is Stephen Baldwin, and he doesn't really do much of anything with his extra time. In fact, I didn't find much of anybody doing anything worth paying attention to in this movie. Yeah, this is an awful film. I guess since I have to pick a best thing, I'll go with Ja Rule. He doesn't totally make a fool of himself as an actor and adds a touch of believability in an otherwise dismal cast. Of course, it may just be that everyone around him is so bad that he can't help but look adequate, but whatever the case, I cringed the least when he was delivering his lines. So take that for what it's worth. But unfortunately, acting wasn't the only thing that was cringeworthy about Church Girl. Usually it's not much of a surprise that acting and production aren't up to a standard in these kinds of movies, so I'm usually willing to cut a little bit of slack, but this movie missed the mark on even more than that. First of all, the story was cookie cutter and completely boring. Seriously, who thought this tale was interesting enough to make a movie about? There's no big moment, no conflict, and nothing to root for. You want to hear the plot? I apologize if this is a spoiler, but here it is. He sells drugs, he falls in love with a church girl, he stops selling drugs. Sorry to ruin the suspense. Not only that, but the faith stuff in this is simply too preachy, and yes, they did actually list God as executive producer in the credits. Look, even Jesus knew to give messages in the form of interesting stories, not just finger-wagging words. Oh, and I have to mention this. Christian rapper T-Bone plays one of the best friends and partners of this drug lord who later finds himself in a Christian bookstore buying a T-Bone CD. Literally, it's the same guy on the cover. They even make a big deal about it. I mean, the guy on the cover clearly looks like your right-hand man. You don't even mention it. Look, if you can't take your own movie seriously, don't expect me to either. Point being, there just isn't much good to say about I'm in love with a church girl. Though Ja Rule doesn't give an awful performance, everyone else does. And when you add that to the lousy production, a preachy presentation, and a boring story with no momentum, it barely escapes with a D-. Thanks for checking out this Your Movie Friend review. If you'd like to see more, there are several ways you can do that. You can go to yourmoviefriend.com where you can search by title for reviews or follow the YMF Facebook page for other news and stuff I find interesting. Also, I'd love to have you as a subscriber on YouTube so you can see the new reviews as soon as they're available. All you gotta do is hit that big gray subscribe button in the middle of your screen.